Hello. Uh, this video starts off a sequence of videos about amines and basicity. Um, and I'm mostly going to talk about basicity in this video. But basicity, uh, if you're thinking about the um, sort of Bronsted, and I apologize to Bronsted, I can't produce that, that character here, definition, we're looking at things that are proton acceptors. And that's the kind of definition I'm going to end up using here. The Lewis definitions, things that are electron pair donors, is equally valid on everything that can accept a proton as an electron pair donor. Sort of the, the reaction that we're going to talk about here is uh, one where we have some generic base, B, and we are going to, it reacts with water, and um, we have, yeah. and then it can pick up a proton from water, become BH+. Plus. And the other outcome of this reaction is hydroxide. And this reaction has an equilibrium constant. And of course, we uh, set up this the law of mass action the same way that we would set up any law of mass action. Make myself a line here for a fraction. And with the, the products on the top and the, the concentrations, sorry, of the products on the top and the concentrations of the reactants on the bottom. So here is the, the equilibrium expression or, or law of mass action for this reaction. And then just like in the acidity case, we go ahead and, and rearrange this uh, equation to something we call Kb, where Kb is equal to K times the, the concentration of water, uh, which is reasonably high and constant and, and actually, you know, in the real world of things, we're talking about activities and not concentrations, and so it's a slightly different operation. Uh, but we can factor out the concentration of water, which is much larger than these other things. And so we just have uh, concentrations of the BH plus, so our conjugate acid, hydroxide anion. And uh, our original basic species B. This is uh, Kb. And the larger the value of Kb is, the more the, re the reaction favors the product and the stronger the base. Uh, but for all systems, there's actually a relationship between you know, Kb of B And the Ka of BH plus, because um, BH plus is a conjugate acid, has its own has a Ka value. And if we are talking about, see, if we are talking about um, in, in aqueous situations, so in water. Ka times Kb is equal to Kw, the autoionization constant for water, which is 10 times uh, 10 to the minus, which is, oh, hold on, I'll just type it out here, 10 to the negative 14. And, and you know, units if you want, but... Um, Technically, equilibrium constants are supposed to be dimensionless values, so we'll just leave 10 to the minus 14. Right. Just like with acidity, you can take the negative logarithm 
of KB, and so you can have a function PKB is equal to minus uh, log of KB sort of all of the all of the sensibilities that you would expect uh, in, in we're going to translate here. So for example, IKB equals low PKB. Uh, so strong bases are going to have high KBs, low PKBs, and the PKB scale brings everything down to a sort of a small number instead of having to deal with these large powers of 10. Uh, and so because of the properties of logarithms, that means in water, we can change this relationship to be PKA plus PKB is equal to PKW, which is 14. So if you know the, the Ka of the conjugate acid, uh, and very frequently the Ka's or PKA's of, of acids are more likely the things that are listed, so you can go find them. Uh, you can calculate in water the Kb or the PKB. So I'm just going to do a specific example. Since this series is going to be about amines, I'm going to actually talk about ammonia. Uh, because ammonia is the sort of parent compound of all amines. It has the Here's ammonia. Okay. Ammonia can react with water. I'm actually just going to go steal some of this stuff from up here from the top because I don't want to rewrite it. React with water to make the ammonium cation. HN, N, 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 and I need to put positive charge here. There's ammonia, and then over on the, the right-hand side, the conjugate acid is ammonium anion. You can go look up the pKa of the ammonium cation. You're going to find it to be 9.26. I have my trusty organic chemistry textbook right beside me, which has a whole bunch of pKa values. And I'm looking for ammonium cation. And I'm not finding it. So oh, I'm looking for Nine point two. It's either nine point two four or nine point two uh, five. We'll go with nine point two five. So I was pretty close. Well, we'll call it nine point two five. But that means that we can estimate the, or we can calculate the pKb of ammonia as uh, fourteen minus nine point two five, which is four point seven. There, there we go. Just checking one more time. Yep, good. 4.75, 9.25. All right. So when we compare the basicity of things, a lower pKb means a higher pKa of the conjugate acid, and therefore... Uh, it's a stronger base. Now, it's worth noting that the pKa and pKb of um, or the pKa of ammonium or the pKb of ammonia tells us nothing about the uh, behavior of NH2 minus the amide ion uh, and the acidity of ammonia, which is a different creature altogether. Like amide is definitely basic. Uh, and so you know, it's going to react with water and it's going to form uh, ammonia, but the, the pKa of ammonia is like 38. So you can do the math. Um, 14 minus 38 means that the pKb of amide is equal to negative 24. 
And so just like in the worlds of acids, in, in terms of water, things that have a negative pKb are stronger bases than hydroxide. And just like with cases of acids, things that have negative pKa are going to completely react with water. So I shouldn't even show this equilibrium. Completely react with water. And so the base that's actually present in the system is hydroxide and not amine. Right? And then I just wanted to again finish up with you know, there's no easy relationship between the pKb uh, of a base B and the pKa of that same base B. Right? There is a relationship between the pKb of B and the pKa of BH+, plus, the conjugate acid. But there's no easy relationship between the basicity of B and the acidity of B. And it is possible that under certain circumstances, something can be both a, a decent base and a decent acid. Right? In the next video, we're going to explore some of the factors that controlled the basicity of specific nitrogen-containing compounds. Thank you for watching.